Many people are quite impressed with the James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities as a deep space observatory. Therefore, there is a great deal of anticipation for discoveries to be made in distant regions of the universe. The powerful James Webb Space Telescope, however, is not nearsighted and can see far away as well as up close. The telescope's field of view includes the planets in our solar system and because to its high-tech components and construction, the JWST has uncovered a peculiar finding on Mars that has stunned the space industry. What exactly has the James Webb Space Telescope discovered on the Red Planet? How does it affect space travel in our solar system? Here on Earth, how does it influence you? Come explore the revolutionary new findings on Mars made by the James Webb Space Telescope with us. Do you ever fantasize of starting a new life on another planet? While it's certainly out there, individuals regularly relocate from one country to another, so the thought of doing so to another planet isn't completely out of the question. However, making the decision to relocate to another planet is one thing, while actually locating a habitable one is quite another. The existence of life on exoplanets, or planets outside the solar system, is a topic of active research. Even if we have greater tools to examine these planets now, it's still not feasible to send humans there due to the great distance. When compared to the distance of these possibly habitable exoplanets from Earth, which is over a trillion miles, human life just cannot thrive. However, if you direct your attention closer, there is a promising planet that could welcome you, right here in the solar system. Mars is the second planet from Mercury in the solar system. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most powerful telescope ever built, was launched in order to conduct in-depth research on Mars. Mars is the only planet that has truly caught the imagination of humanity as a whole. Mars is not the simplest object for the JWST to observe because of how close it is and how bright it is. The JWST was built to see extremely distant and faint objects. NASA scientist and main investigator Juliana Luisi from the Planetary Systems Laboratory at Goddard Space Flight Center remarked, Mars is so brilliant that the difficulty is how to view it. At a news conference held by the European Planetary Science Congress to coincide with the release of the photographs, scientists had to utilize very brief exposures to examine Mars with the JWST because the planet's intense infrared radiation was threatening to blind the telescope's equipment. In order to accomplish this, only a fraction of the light that reached JWST's detectors was measured, and then the data was analyzed using novel techniques. With the diffraction limit of a space telescope in the infrared, we are able to view with astonishing clarity. The entire Earth is laid out before us. We first noticed the canal-like structures on Mars' surface in the late 1800s. It sparked rumors that aliens of some sort might be residing there. Furthermore, it spawned fiction with the Martians that invaded Earth such as the 1938 radio drama The War of the Worlds, which, for some reason, many listeners took to be an actual news coverage of an invasion and thus caused widespread panic. Mars and Earth have a lot in common, including nearly the same landmass. Mars's mass is just about 10% of Earth's, and its volume is about 15%. Yet Earth's surface is composed of water and only has a 15% water content. Martian surface gravity is only 37% of the Earth's, Musk's Martians colonists will have roughly three times the vertical leap, a major enhancement to human leaping capability. If you love mountaineering, you will probably adore Mars. Olympus Mons on Mars is the highest mountain in the solar system. With a diameter of 600 kilometers and a height of 21 kilometers, the Shield Volcano is an impressive sight. Despite having formed over billions of years, evidence from volcanic lava flows is so recent Many experts believe it could still be active, therefore climbing it is not without risk. And it goes without saying that the Sun will appear smaller for Mars than it does here on Earth. There is a more significant explanation and repercussion for this. Mars' southern hemisphere tilts toward the Sun during its brief intense summer, while the planet's northern hemisphere experiences its brief chilly winter. At its apogee, Mars' north hemisphere tilts toward the Sun, resulting in a long warm summer while the Southern Hemisphere experiences a long, cold winter. Scientists have handled Martian soil even without physically visiting the Red Planet. After being brutally ejected from Mars, the meteorites spent millions of years orbiting the solar system among galactic debris until finally crashing to Earth, 
where small traces of the Martian atmosphere were discovered. The James Webb Space Telescope has collected data on the spectral characteristics of light for Mars, which could be used to infer the composition of the Martian atmosphere and surface. By comparing the JWST photographs to the rest of the Martian landscape, Luisi and his team discovered that the 1,200-mile-wide Helles Basin appears darker than its surroundings, even during the Martian day's warmest hour. An interesting feature is a black area on Mars that is actually a basin. Honestly, that was a complete surprise to us. Whatever it was, it started out incredibly bright and then dimmed. What Luisi stated. To quote NASA scientists, this is not a thermal effect at Hellas. Light is dimmed by carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere, causing the darkening seen at this impact structure. The Goddard scientist explains, the Hellas Basin is at a lower altitude and consequently suffers higher air pressure. That greater pressure results to a suppression of the thermal emission at this particular wavelength range due to a process called pressure widening. Identifying and separating these potentially conflicting effects in the data promises to be a fascinating exercise. These new photographs also show that the James Webb Space Telescope can use its near-infrared spectrograph NERSPEC, NERSPEC instrument to conduct spectroscopic studies of Mars. Spectroscopy allows planetary scientists to examine the fingerprints that different chemicals leave in the light traveling through a planet's atmosphere in order to establish the makeup of the atmosphere. The scientists' preliminary findings reveal spectral patterns that are encoded with data on Martian dust, ice clouds, atmospheric composition, and surface rock types. The JWST should be able to detect substances including water, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide in its observations. Luisi mentioned the controversy over whether or not methane exists on Mars, citing the scant information provided by ground-based sensors and rovers. While the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter TGO, measurements haven't been able to corroborate this, and observations from Earth are hindered by methane in our planet's atmosphere, Luisi believes that JWST observations could be the difference maker. The main mystery has been that between 0 and 10 kilometers, 6 miles, he remarked, referring to the distance between the surface rovers and the observational data. With James Webb's help, we can now observe the entire column of the atmosphere from high above to where the rover is on the ground. Therefore, we've made a fresh approach to addressing this issue. Luisi elaborated, saying that methane is significant because it can inform scientists about a variety of geological events on Mars, such as whether or not the planet was recently hit by a massive extraterrestrial object. Methane levels may have been higher during times of past biological activity on Earth. Phobos, the larger of Mars' two moons, is doomed to a terrible death. In roughly 20 to 40 million years, Phobos will be split apart by gravity forces, but this will lead to something exciting. Materials from the moon will condense into a ring like those around Saturn and Jupiter, and this ring could persist for up to 100 million years. Mars colonists and astronauts, whomever get there first, will enjoy blue sunsets because, unlike on Earth, the Martian sky is blue during the day. The JWST's stunning images of other planets in the galaxy have sparked speculation about what this might signify for Earth and other worlds like Mars. The JWST's primary function is to observe distant objects, and it is successfully accomplishing this goal. The JWST's first official science photographs have arrived and scientists are still reeling from their incredible quality. When using such a powerful instrument, they anticipated obtaining extremely high-resolution photographs. Nonetheless, these results were much beyond their wildest dreams, which bodes well for the future of space exploration. These photographs, which the telescope is bringing into being, show the cosmos in infrared, a wavelength of light we cannot see, but which is useful for showcasing the warm glow of wisps of gas and clumps of interstellar space. As the space telescope is located far from the heat of Earth and is surrounded by the coolness of space, it is able to capture these images with unparalleled clarity. What do you think about these new pictures and investigation of Mars using the James Webb Space Telescope? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching the video until the end. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on the latest James Webb Telescope news. We have another yet interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you into another space adventure.